German names. I like a lot of them and I also have some favorites. Hey everyone, I'm Donna and you're watching Wanted Adventure Living Abroad. There are so many beautiful German names out there. It was really hard for me to narrow it down to my top current favorite ones. And I realized that it was also kind of hard to figure out if these names are actually considered German. I mean, names, a lot of names have been around for a while and most of them originated from somewhere else and then evolved over time. So please let me know down in the comments if you consider these names German or if you think of them being related to somewhere else first and foremost. And let's start with the girls' names. Interestingly, when putting this little list together, I noticed that several of the names that I like start with the same letter. So first of all, there are a couple names that start with the letter L. Lisolotte for one. Wow, when I heard this name for the first time, Lisolotte, I instantly liked it. There's just something about the name that makes me smile. It sounds so bright and happy. It reminds me of walking through the park on a warm, sunny spring day. And it's also a name that is quite different from anything that I had ever heard before. Then I found out that the name Liesel and the name Lotte exist as well, and I immediately liked both of those two. Liesel is a short form of the name Elizabeth, and Lotte can be short for either Lotte or Charlotte. And again, like the longer Lotte, there's just something about the names Liesel and Lotte that make me smile and make me think of spring. And another name beginning with L that I really like is Leonie. This name looks beautiful to my eyes and sounds just very melodious to my ears, Leonie. But now moving away from L names, there are also two names on this list that start with an A, Annika and Anke as well as a third name that doesn't start with an A, but it does have a kind of similar soft vowel at the beginning, and that is the name Elke. These three names somehow feel both gentle and strong at the same time to me. I know it's a bit of a contradiction, and I actually have no idea if that makes any sense at all to anyone else. I mean, how can a name sound gentle anyway? I don't really know, but to me, these three names do. Maybe it's something about the fact that they all start with a kind of softer vowel at the beginning, but then they have that K in the middle, which has a bit of a harder, more crisp ring to it. I'm not really sure, but I just, I really like how they sound and how they look as well. And lastly, for the girls' names, I really like the name Verena. To me, this name just has such a beautiful ring to it. It reminds me of a clear night sky where I can look up and see all the stars. Verena, I just, it sounds really beautiful to me. And now on to the boys' names. And I know I might be a little bit biased with this first one, but I really like the name Stefan. And no, I'm not only saying that because my husband's name is Stefan. I really do honestly like how this name looks and sounds. But okay, yeah, like I said, I might be a little bit biased with this one. Then we have two names starting with an F. Felix and Florian. Again, I have no idea if this makes sense to other people, but for some reason, the name Felix reminds me of a beautiful fall day when all of the trees are bright orange and red, and there's that buzz of fall excitement in the air, contrasted with the name Florian, which feels once again to me like spring. The name Florian makes me think of sitting on a blanket under a tree on a just pleasantly warm day with colorful spring flowers all around. There's no ants on the blanket, okay? 
It's a nice spring day, but there's no ants. I mean, there are ants, like the ecosystem didn't fall apart, but there's just no ants on my blanket. Okay. <laughs> now, two names that begin with a T, Torsten and Torben. And I just really like how these names sound, Torsten, Torben. I can't really describe what exactly it is that I like about them, but these names seem like bold names to me. Sometimes you don't know why you like something. You just like it. I just like how they look and how they sound. And lastly, I really like the name Maximilian. I like how it looks with that X in the middle. And I also really like how it sounds. It's, it's a bit of a longer name. And there's something about it that reminds me of a stream curving through a forest on a warm summer's day. I know that's very specific but there's just something about Maximilian that makes me think of that. So my question for you is, what are some of your favorite names? And I talked a lot about what these names make me think of. Do these names make you think of anything? Please let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please think about leaving a like with the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more Wanted Adventure videos on Wednesdays and Sundays. And a really, really, really big thank you so much to our patrons on Patreon who help make these videos possible. Thank you so much for your support. If you would like to check out our Patreon page, you can find a link to that down in the description box below. Until next time, our feeder zane. Now to lanes, lanes, names, to names. Three, <laughs> spring. So first of all, there are a couple names starting with the letter L. <laughs>